right. I may have to just hold it. Blessed to the house of David the elect. Alright. We the brothers in Great Millstone, Jackson, Mississippi. Alright, and we go into the topic of spiritual abundance. You know, we just gonna start off with the scripture, let the uh, scripture speak of Cabbage Quiet, get Romans. Not Romans, excuse me. Psalms uh, 1 and 3. Okay, this is the book of Psalms 1 verse 3. He should be like the tree planted by the rivers of water, and bring it forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also should not wither. Whatsoever he do it should prosper. Read one more time about the shot. Book of Psalm 1 and verse 3. He should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringing forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also should not wither, and whatsoever he do it should prosper. Right. Now it's speaking about us. You know, we will be those trees uh planted by you know rivers of water, rivers of living water, which this word, you know. And the Heavenly Father is uh is developing brothers and even you few sisters but we may be talking about the brothers right here you know the lord is developing brothers in all areas of their life you know and pretty much this is going to the topic of uh something our beloved elder apostles and elder bishops have been um speaking about for years what's called a uh, ruling class mentality you know what i'm saying it's something that the uh the elder brother Bayer has said before we started up which goes right into this lesson Basically, um, the spirit of believing in yourself, you know, because, you know, Abba, Yahweh, Shai believes in us. But it's also important that we believe in ourselves, too, you know, because he, he, he made us his sons, man. You know, we're, we're the sons of the power, you know, and, you know, what we're coming into is far greater than what we think. That's why the Lord pretty much has us in situations but we're having to, you know, deal with, you know, vain things in his life. But if we can't deal with these simple, minute situations, how we expect to, you know, govern existence, you know? Now, the Lord mainly left us with the responsibilities of handling his word. You know, as it's written, you know, when you read in the Gospels, it speaks about, you know, the uh, the talents. You know, you got the parable of the talents, the, the parable of the, of the pounds. So you, you utilizing your spiritual gifts that the Lord gave you and you um you know managing that and also managing your life you know learning to you know um and it, it's it's a <laughs> you know it's a stepping stone for a lot of us you know some brothers are better at it but you know managing your um uh, managing your finances man managing your your household you know for brothers that have you know families you know whatnot managing these situations before we get to managing things that are far more important because you managing your different life circumstances and situations is like you're managing a kingdom you know and if we can't do this how we expect to you know be joint heirs man you know you got a precept yeah i got a precept for you um <clears throat> this is uh matthew chapter 25 verse 20, verse 23 his Lord said unto him, Well done, good, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Over a few things, because it's it's not too much to ask. You're doing a daily video, weekly videos. That's that's not requiring too much of us, man. That's why we're speaking about our reasonable service. Yeah. You know? Put putting the reading in that you do, or, or you know. Watching the videos, anything it, it, as far as you investing in this truth, in, in, in it, which is investing in yourself too, right. is making us better. You doing that, you're being faithful over a few things, little things. That's right. But imagine what he's gonna give. He's gonna give you everything. That's right. You know. Yeah. Right. Back into Matthew chapter 25 and 23. 
As Laura said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter you into the joy of your Lord. Enter into paradise. It's, it's, you know, you're going to be a joint heir with, with, with a man that controls existence. We don't know how far out that is, man. It's like you speaking about a brother's vision earlier, having those new bodies. You know? Well, what that's going to be like, having those new bodies, man, an eternal house for your spirit. That means you know? that daily progression, you know, because, you know, days become weeks, yep. weeks become months, months become years. But with those new bodies, it doesn't matter. Yep. Because in the fleshly bodies, what happens? Each day brings you closer to your grave. Yep. You know? We have to deal with our mortality right now. That's it. You know? But... The whole point in this lesson, it is speaking about, you know, spiritual abundance. Because you have people up in these different plantation Christian churches, they'll speak about a prosperity doctrine, that they basically want to promote you prospering in this world, which which is not beneficial for us, you know, because um, as, as is written, you know, um, to, to, to gain this world, you got to you gotta sell your soul here, you know? gain this world but you lose your soul and the scriptures say you know if you love this world you're an enemy of the heavenly father all right so the prosperity we're speaking about is you prospering in your how about shimei was shy you pleasing your how about shimei was shy which produces an abundance mindset we understand that you know we, we, we deserve more like more is promised for us you know so you're able to look past the matrix you're able to look past Babylon, man. You may have a job where, you know, it's, it's a little, you know, decent, make a decent amount of money, but that's still the Lord just getting you by, you know? And, it, and it's all a balance within the body because, you know, you, you got certain brothers that they have more, you know, some brothers have less, but it's, it's a order within the body. But we come into a kingdom when we all going to be owned. It's going to be more than enough when he's, when he's going to give us, you know? You get, get what you got in mind. Romans book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but ye seek first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you right so seek first the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemel Shai seeking his knowledge first you know it tells you in the wisdom of Solomon I want to say the sixth chapter like towards the end the knowledge of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom you know so this knowledge is going to manifest into the kingdom very soon we're, we're in the beginning stages of it now. The scripture also states the kingdom of heaven is, is within you. you. Woo! Yep. Because we wouldn't be sitting in this car doing this video right, right now, man. Right. This, this is the the beginning of us entering into the kingdom, man. Sure. But it's going to be a physical kingdom on this physical earth. You know, because, you know, brothers and sisters ask some question, or oh, what does it mean when it says the, um, the new Jerusalem going to come down from God out of heaven? It's talking about the elect coming down from those chariots. You know? What it, goes up must come down. Yeah. And this is after we've been made one with our husband, Yahweh Shai. You know? That's where the marriage begins. That's where the marriage begins. He's going to fully program us, fully put his way in us. It's like, you know, a man and woman become one flesh. A, a man, you know, when he has sex with a woman, he puts his DNA in her. Right. Your DNA essentially is programming. So the Lord is going to put his programming in us. You know? I got a quick one. Got it out. This is all 1 Corinthians okay. chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of a, a man the things which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh have prepared for them that love him. Right, so we're going to receive something that the planet Earth hasn't even seen before. You know? And it's far greater than what we think. It's far bigger than what we think. It's like the beloved El Paso Barbie said, what you don't see is far greater than what you do see. See, this what's out here right now, because we're, we're in the here and now. This is all these people around us believe in. But there's something much more than this, you know? There's something much more than this, you know, people out here, you know, celebrating Memorial Day weekend. There's something more to life. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot with the Lord about to give you a leg, man. You know, you got it up.
and a quick one for you. And this is Second Corinthians 4 and 18. Oh, wow. Yeah. The second Corinthians 4 and 17, in LT, it says, For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Man, hey, so comforting, man. Because we go through situations like it'll feel drawn out, you know? But then the Lord is right there with his angels watching us, you know? Like he, he's He's watching that entire process take place. So it's not like you there alone, even though you may feel alone. Like he's right there. <laughs> He, he's there, right. you know? You got it out. And whatever situation or scenario it is, go with the God of the it always an escape route. Right. Yep. It's a trap door. Yep. Whatever situation or scenario. It's an escape route. And um, and sometimes, the only way, um, what, what was that, 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 how did one saying go? You got to go through it to get to it, so to speak. Sometimes the escape route, in some cases, is you gotta go through. Yeah, that is it. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Even though it, it hurt. Yeah. Because going back to your how was shy, there was no other way besides him going through what he had to go through. So 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 sometimes that is it. But another point that's been coming out in Dwadi How by Shmel Shai, put the spirit on Yodi Ashwoman to say it. We have to look at the lessons in these things. Sometimes, you know, when we when we go through our afflictions, what is the Lord showing us? There's a lesson in everything. You can't you know? get to anything unless you do something. Even just regular things, man. You can't get to your house unless you go through the door yeah. or your room. Yeah. You know, you get off work, you can't get to your car unless you go through the parking lot or the parking lot. You know, so any aspect of life to get anywhere, you're gonna have to go through something. Yeah. And if you want to be in this truth, if you're gonna be in this truth, seeking how about your shine, you're gonna have to uh, carry that cross, man. I mean, you're gonna have to go through different trials, tribulations, tests. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, but it's not to destroy us, it's to build us up, man, through the spirit. It's called growing pains. Yeah. You know, growing pains promote growth. Failures promote growth. Yeah. And within the failures, within those growing pains, you get the lesson from them. Yep. You know? Like Ellen said, it's the ones who stay around here. These beginning stages, this is the humility stage. Yeah. You know, these the, you know, different things that we're going through right now, different yeah. trials and adversities. That's right. But what the scripture said before, I heard Right. Uh, yeah. And look at Yahweh Shah in the spiritual realm. Yeah, Revelation yeah. the fifth chapter. Yeah. So now when he comes back, he'll be exalted. So Lord Lord, Lord will, we're part of that um that hopeful number, the elect. You know, once we get those crowns, that's us being exalted. But at the same time, right, we're being humiliated right now, so Lord will we can get exalted. Yeah, it's and, like that spiritual boot camp, man. You gotta go through needs, you're gonna get humiliated. You know, like that sergeant shouting in your face, making you do push up and everything. It's just it's, it's, it's that process of perfection, man. So we going through this right now at this time, but as Elder Priest Paul we're going to, when you go to second answer is, man, the graduation, man, we receive those palms, you know what I'm saying, that glory, man. That's, it's gonna be all worth it at the end, man. All the humility, all the agonizing pains, you know what I'm saying, afflictions, whatever we go through, man, it's all gonna be worth it, man. And we're gonna look back, and this it, this was really nothing. Man. Yep. And so, can, can you read our scripture again? Second uh, Corinthians four and seventeen in LT. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Even though it doesn't feel like that, but in comparison to everything the Lord got going on on the earth, and in comparison to what He's gonna give you as your reward, it is small. You know, because because that re reward is gonna be massive. It's, it's, it's going to be colossal, man. Right. You know, when you finally receive all these things that have been promised, because this has been promised going back to the, uh, the the fathers of the promise, the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're entering into what the Lord promised our fathers, man. You know, and it's going to be far greater when he does it. That's right. when, when, when he manifests, you know. That's why uh, Yahweh Shai stated in Matthew 11 chapter, Because everything we will receive is everlasting. It's everlasting. It's ever fucking lasting. I mean, it doesn't end. So if you wanted to go see the most high, you're literally going to translate from the earthly realm into the spiritual realm, man. Having an extraterrestrial body. Right. 
so it's yeah. everlasting. Yeah. So this is light, and we see the end of Esau's rulership. We actually see, you can actually see the finish line right now. So in the spirit now, bros are literally sprinting in the spirit. And it's 888 on their license plate. It oh, said 888. Which goes to the lesson. Right. Now, we, we didn't um, speak too much about it yet, but I had put in a title um, 2 plus 2 plus 4 equal 8. Basically, you know, because we in 2024, you know, mm. which uh, going back to what Elder Apostle Tahar called it, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, you know, but um, Two plus two plus four, we know it's eight. And like the elder has said, eight goes into uh, infinite. You know, it, it can go into uh, something being infinite or it can go into abundance. Yeah, look at the you number know? eight, how it goes. Yeah, it's, it's like continuous. A, it's a continuous you know? format, motion. The sacrifice doesn't even measure up to the reward, man. Because, like, you know, like I said, we seem like we're going through so much and it seems like it's going to be never ending. But the reward. It's truly never ended, man. Eternal life, you know what I'm saying? Immortality. You know, your 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 best years is gonna be continually your best years. Yeah. You're gonna be at your best for eternity. It's yeah. almost hard to process. Can you understand? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like you know, every day gonna be like a vacation. Right. 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 Yeah. We yeah. Put the sun on his right hand side to be pleasure. Right. Right. And you will always be satisfied. Right. And then you will really get to live out the theme of living legend. Legends don't die. That's what it that's what it means, a living legend. Yep. Right? So you these legends we see or hear about in Esau's kingdom, there's no such thing as a living legend. Because uh -huh. yep. one thing for sure, they all die. They gonna die. Check this out, y'all. So for our prison troubles are small, it won't last very long. You know, whatever you're going through, a divorce, uh, uh body ailments, issues with your children, you know, uh, car issues. Satan, Satan playing in your mind. Hey, that's all that shit is light. Yeah, yeah. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Going into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. But through the kingdom of heaven, you get a better version of your spiritual self. Yeah. yeah. So we don't look And at physical self, too. Yeah. Because yeah. we're we going to be in yeah. physical bodies, yeah. you know? Yeah. And all the things like you just mentioned. Because that goes into, uh, what's that, Matthew 19 and uh, 27. Look at that, bro. Uh, you know? Because you know, us doing what we're doing, this is an investment. Because uh, it's gonna come to a point to where the Lord is gonna give you your life back and some. Because it, it tells us that, you know. Th so this is a, uh, a a life investment. You know, that's what Scripture speak. You know, speak about. You know, count on the cost. Because yeah. you're investing. Mm -hmm. Storing your treasure in heaven. Storing your treasure in heaven. In heaven. But see, you're investing. But see that that you're not gonna lose. This, this is the one investment you can bank on. You're not losing. This is the only investment where you can you can win. You 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 know you're gonna get a return on this. 100 yeah, percent. Sure. You know. Yeah. You can. Yeah. That's you can't right. do that any you know in any other thing. Yeah. You know. It's verse 18. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather we fix. Second Ezra 14 and 14. Let go of the mortal thoughts. Right. Because at the end of the day. That shit is going to end. Whenever you go through a situation, the most high is going to take you out of that situation, put you in another situation. It's true, bro. But at the same time, frame, you don't grow without the resistance, right? Your bicep doesn't grow without the resistance from the bicep girl. So in the spirit, you have to go through these carnal things in order to basically uh, promote spiritual growth. Look at Yahweh Shah when Satan tempted him. 40 days, 40 nights. But at the end of the day, he was on high alert in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. It says, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. Your gaze is meaning your eyesight. Going into really your spiritual mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you uh, focus on. Yeah. Because right. he, he's giving us a, a kingdom mindset. Right. You looking past Babylon. Yeah. You know, we, we have to envision we're going to be in the kingdom soon. Mm -hmm. And imagine you in a world where you don't die and your people don't die. Right. You no in the world, you, you, yeah, no more pain, no more man. Pain. We never gonna get old. That's like right. you, you, you gonna be looking at brothers, that brothers continually young. 
you know, you you get something you know young and healthy. You and know? what proves it is upon second answers. And bros, really, when y'all you know uh, give these pictures or you know make the pictures of yeah, I've mentioned that before. You yeah. know, passing out crowns with gray hair. That's that's inaccurate. Yeah, he's supposed to have black. He's hair. supposed to have black hair and a youthful look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he gonna be looking young when he come back. That's right, bro. That's why you should stay in second answer. It's going to second chapter. What well, you yeah. man is this? That's yeah. right. That's right. All right, so we uh, fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we now see will soon be gone. But the things we cannot see will yeah, last forever. rulership, these coliseums, these churches, feminism, westernization, all this shit gonna be gone. It's gonna be blotted out. And you see it right now, it's, it's, it's being phased out. That's right, that's right. You know, e even people celebrating these holidays, it ain't what it used to be, nah, man. Bro. Like they, 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 they faking to just keep it up, but, but really, you know, people out, out here all through, man. Yeah, broke. You know? Yeah, yeah, can't even afford to, uh, you know, do the shit. Mm -hmm. Can't even really, you know, uh, you know, just can't even be out here cooking like they want to. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You, you, yeah, you gotta do it, bro. I got a quick one real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 7, uh, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Most High Yahweh, thy power. The Lord Yahweh, thy power, had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And which is like um, the sign on the truck, it say uh, salt life. I think it's faith ministries too. Oh, wow. But yeah, hey, amen. Although we're in this lower state, we're in a low condition right now. Us still knowing and you know retaining through our day to day because it's still a fight. You know, um, when you're not doing the videos, you know, you you're not uh, uh, reading, but you you maneuvering, but just you you keeping in your mind to just know, even though we in this state, we still the people. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, we, we go through our you know day to day and and pretty much it's it's a, uh, a struggle because like you said, you, you you don't get strong without resistance. That's why we work these particular jobs and we got to be surrounded by these different people. That's their resistance. Yeah, you the people. We are the people, but 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 this is the, the battle. You know what I'm saying? But but still knowing, yeah, we are that, that holy people because that word holy, it also goes to being royal. You know what I'm saying? It, it means separate, but it goes into being royal too. You know, we're, we're a royal people. You look at brothers like, you know, this is royal bloodline in this car, man. You look at the different brothers. These them royal families that them people in uh, Britain want to portray. We're, we're those royal families, bro. You know, and we're getting back to that. You know what I'm saying? But um, okay, you know, bring us out of something real quick. Okay, go ahead. In Exodus 19 and 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be peculiar. You shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. So we going through the process. Right. Yep. What's the morning? Yeah, yeah. Above all people, for all the earth is mine, and you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak unto the sons of Israel. So when you read Revelation, the first chapter, where it says how um, uh, Yahweh Shai has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. You know, because that's in a few scriptures in Revelation. It's in Revelation, the first chapter. And also in chapter uh, five, we speak about how you how we shall lose the seven seals. So he's coming back to make us that. He's gonna return to this earth to make us kings and priests to fulfill what's written in the Old Testament to fulfill it. And that all the process of obedience, so that can take place. To, you know, to what the brother Lamar reading because that's that's a direct link. Walking in that straight gate. That's the process for us to get back to royalty. You know, because now we have to earn it. It also mentions how like the ways are few and painful. You know, if I'm not mistaken, it said saying the but I, I know saying it was the seventh chapter. You know, but basically going back to somebody mentioned before, us in, inheriting vanity. You know, for lack of better words, us going through, you know, this life because, you know, King Solomon called it that in Ecclesiastes. 
all this vanity and vexation of spirit, but we still have to go through this. You know, this is part of our education because it's still life lessons in all this. You know, the, the Lord, he's taking us through this so we can understand and appreciate what he's going to give us on the other side. Yes. You know? Well, you know, we have to experience no Westernization. Yep. You know, we have to experience black culture. And we really had to be going into that before we became those new creatures. Yeah. I mean, it's straight up Hellenized. Straight up Hellenized. Jay grew up, bro, we in the South. Not too far from Memphis, not too far from Louisiana. Grew up eating seafood and stuff. We weren't supposed to be eating that madness. But, but this is how we came up. But see, this was purposely orchestrated for our education. Because I'll praise you by Shemiel Shah. He didn't leave us there because he brought us here in the truth. He brought us here. And, and now he's further educating us. Now, and like you said, yeah, we be in, in that straight gate, these positions of difficulty, but it don't stay the same. Look what we at now. You know, it's, 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 it's like simulations. Okay, this, this is simulation. Okay, take you out of it and they put you another one. Now they put you another one. It reminds me of, uh, there's levels. You got uh, the movie, uh, the, the, the Kingsman. Yeah. You know, it's just like a, you know a, a series of tests so we can earn our spot, man. That's right. You know, yeah. you got it, bro. Back in uh, Matthew, back in Matthew, you on know, nineteen or six thirty-three? Yeah, nineteen twenty-seven. Yeah. yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter nineteen, starting at verse twenty-seven. Then answered Peter and said, uh, "Say unto me, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have, we have therefore?" And yeah, yeah. So. Uh, the Lord's uh, disciples, you know, which Lord willing, you know, that's us. Because the Lord had more than, you know, 12, you know what I'm saying? But basically, um, you know, they they followed the path of Yahweh Shai, and they, they left everything. You know, they, they abandoned their life, you know, to, to follow the Lamb, and now we're doing it all over again in this time, you know? And now it's, it's of... Uh, it's, it's of a, a greater uh, importance because the lamb is not physically here, but he's spiritually here. So 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 now it's totally on faith. Following him, even though we don't physically see him, but we spiritually see him. Like it tells us in Ezra, though they have, they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit, because he's here. He in this car. I, I I feel him. You know, like you know, we can see him. Like, you know, we can see him, man. So you know, th th this is showing us. Okay, he really about to do this, cause he look, look how far he's brought us. He about to fulfill, fulfill it. You got it, bro. Verse twenty eight, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, showing you his uh, his disciples, which became apostles, have to be back. You know. And the same men that was following them, you read in the book of Acts, they're back too. You know? Because this is that regeneration. This has to be the time when he's returning to the earth. The last generation. This is it, brothers. You know? You got it up. He also shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. So, this is the time, like you had said, bro, Yahweh Shai is coming to this earth to receive his reward. But as he's coming to this earth to, re to receive his glory here, he's also going to glorify his men. That's it. That's it. And he's going to make them like him. See, that's the prize. You know? And that's when we celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, we do get happy when we get amongst each other because you're among the body. You know? But that true celebration, like Brother Ed said, second after two, when that coronation take place, right. the, the crowning, that's when we celebrate. We're going to have a toast with the Lord, and he's going to set a crown a pure gold on your head like it says in the Psalms and each crown is gonna be specifically designed for each member of the elect you know so right now we're, we're having to earn those crowns yeah earn our stripes and it's through pain you know it's, it's, it's through pain but it's the only way but you know also um the Lord he's taking us through this because he's bringing things to this earth this <laughs> that people ain't ready for it, man. Really, he's really conditioning us for the time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. Because he's giving his men the edge above everybody else. So yeah, you know, we'll go through our different things we go through. And sometimes, you know, be honest, you may find yourself 
complain about a particular thing when you feel like, man, shit, you know, like, like you, you just feel like you in the thick of it. But why is that happening? It's to get us ready for the worst time on the earth. Because before we get the reward, we got to still get through this too. We ain't even got through that yet. And you just said that, bro. See, we're going through this so we can resist that. Right. The average Jake not going to resist the Karagma. They going to get right into it. Even Jake's... We back on. Then we should go back to the scripture, bro. Okay, good. All right. Um, this back in Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. And everyone that had forsaken house, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Yeah, so you're going to get everything back and some, and you're going to have an, an immortal body to enjoy it. You know, so we in a time the Heavenly Father is going to make the earth Eden again. He's a paradise uh, again, and it's gonna be far greater than the time of Adam. So what that's gonna look like, bro? That time was epic. That was epic, bro. So it's gonna be greater than the Garden of Eden. The destiny, uh, what's that? Ezekiel, is it thirty-six? I think so. The land that was destined yeah. has become like the Garden of Eden. That's right. So he gonna hook Jerusalem up, but before that, he gonna hook the people up. Yeah. He gonna hook us up before we go home. He gonna hook our homeland up and the whole earth. Right. Because when you go into like, uh, I wanna say. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. When you look into that term new, it's kainos. Yep. But also a definition is uh, far superior than the former state. Wow. You know? So we, we can only imagine how it looked when Adam yep. was, you know, roaming around. Yeah. But just imagine how it's going to look when the sons of the Most High return. Yeah. Well, just basically, Esau, Edom, because, um, you know, they look into everything. Yeah. Like, it's archaeologists. So they, didn't, they pretty much um, looked into it. And, um, and they, they like to say, when you look at a lot of these different mountains that are rugged, mm -hmm. they didn't look like that. Basically, all the mountains were covered with greenery. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, 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 yeah, everything looked different. You know what I'm saying? It was, the earth was larger. And basically, they, it, was, it was intact. And, and they, yeah, because going back to Pangea, it was one, one land mass. And they say uh, there were crystals all over the ground. So like now you gotta like dig to like find crystals. You know you gotta go to caves, but really it was crystals like just all over the earth. Just just yeah, just just out in the open. You could just like pick a stone up, pick a crystal up, but it was just literally over the ground D during the time of Adam. You know, and 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 then man's uh, mind and body, which is on a far higher level. Like your your your, your mind capacity, you can rem remember a whole lot more. We were living longer. You can go through a lot. Too. You can go through a lot, so you you can endure more. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's important when uh, uh, I think in the book of Daniel, I think it took what Yahusha and uh, and Michael what two weeks to work the mind of uh, the king. You know what I'm saying? So that's how strong a person or a man's mindset was during the ancient time. Now niggas will kill themselves if they want to believe them, man. <laughs> yeah, so, something happened within a day or a few hours yeah people lose it but it, it took long periods of time to like break a man's mind that's right you know what i'm saying he actually went through something yeah. yeah yes something had to be like you know very uh traumatic to you you know very serious yeah, but, yep. can i read that uh matthew 19 29 one more time yeah you got it bro. Matthew 9, first chapter 19, verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken house or brethren or sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake. Yeah. Just wanted to highlight that. Brother. Because, you know, you got men who claim they are men of the Lord, servants of how about you I'm shy, but don't use his name. But they have Hebrew names, but they call them, you know, God of Christ or the, the other weirdo names. But we do all this through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah. Everything that we sacrifice and give up is for Yahweh Shem Shah that they may find favor and please with what we do, man. Yeah. So those names are very important because those are names that we're going to rely on, that we're, we're, that we're going to call upon when Jacob's trouble gets. Another thing, too, like, uh, you know, one of our tests 
or some of our tests could be if you have these particular things and they leave will you keep going because yeah. that could happen you know, like, you know lord could take your family from you or you know you could lose your house you could lose this, this good job you had you know sometimes we have car problems so hey, the lord might take <laughs> take our car <laughs> you know but regardless because because that's a form, form of forsaken too because the, the main thing you keep going with this because those things can be abandoned and replaced right. this is the one thing that can't be replaced man yeah. so if we lose these particular things in this world will we still keep going because that's what's required of us yeah. and at the end of the day yeah how about some was shy gonna show you that there was nothing because what he's really gonna give us man once again the earth ain't seen it before man and he gave us great things in the ancient world he gave us he hooked us up you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, hey, the Lord made a boast. It, I, it's either in the prophet, excuse me, it's in the book of the prophet Jeremiah, or, or, or maybe it's in the apocrypha. But basically, I think I think it's in the book of Jeremiah. But basically, it's say, basically, um, they're not gonna be seeing the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant are these. Pretty much the time we coming into, you know, Yahweh Shai. See, he's gonna be magnified above the Ark of the Covenant, and his connection with us. Yeah, how about Shemiah Shah connection with us is gonna be on a far higher level than when we had the ark. The ark was a big thing. And I'm gonna say this too, for you fucking Kemet niggas. Hey, uh, the Ark of the Covenant didn't come from no goddamn Egyptians, man. Cause I, I got this book I was looking at, and they were pretty much showing you how um the Egyptians they used to carry around this uh this certain type of coffin. You know what I'm saying? With with, with these uh, four poles on the side, and you look at that. It, it reminds you of the Ark of the Covenant in a way, but I thought about, I was like, man, and hey, the Lord pretty much like he <laughs> he, uh, he he shot at them Egyptians, so he he shot at them damn Egyptians, so, so to speak. Pretty much like he he, he dissed them because they had a coffin where they would like carry around particular items, and um, you know I speculate they even carry around their idols up in that uh that coffin. But see the thing is, we got the real God though. We had a real God, so. We didn't get the Ark of the Covenant for no fucking Egyptians, man. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's knock off shit, you know? That concept came from your by Shemai. It came you know? from your how about Shemai was shot. Because when you had the Ark of the Covenant, you had like, uh, of course, you had the Ark, and then you had like a, a pole that went, you know, uh, horizontal. You had two poles mm -hmm. going horizontal because you had to have yeah, like, yeah, come, come. a person in the front to carry the person in the back, right? So then you had the um, angels basically on the on each end of it and then the um, the ark basically came it contained what the law statutes yeah. and the commandments but now yahweh shah is dead that was symbolic for yahweh shah yeah. it was a foreshadow of things to come yeah you, you think about because uh because it says uh the, the mercy seat dwelt in the middle that's right of the, of the two cherubims right yahweh shah he's our mercy that's right you know yeah right right I'm saying, but just showing you, hey, the Lord, he gonna put us on a far higher level than he did for our forefathers, which, footnote, where our forefathers coming back. So he gonna do far greater things for us in this time. Right. You thought that was something he did for us in the ancient world, because them heathens, they saw that, they saw Israel with their ark, they got scared. Yeah. Because they, they knew the connection we had. He, he saw Edom, they'll, they'll speculate the ark was some type of uh, satellite. It was it was some type of weapon. And it reminds you like, like a radio. Like a radio Israel was carrying around, but basically it was our connection to our God, man. But see, now we had a connection through his name, through the names of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You know, and once again, this is all going into spiritual abundance. Because, you know, the time we're coming into, we got to expect miracles, man. And we expect miracles to be done in his name, bro. It all It's all rooted back to the, it's routed, routed I'm going to say routed. It's all routed back to those names. And you getting this with the brother, you know, a priest Lamad is reading, you know, it's routed back to those names. That's who's giving it to you. You know, yeah, you hey, let's say you want to call the most high Abba or, or Father. Well, you gotta know the name of your father. That's right. And he gonna he's gonna be the one giving it to you through his name. You know? Yeah, well, you gotta can I say then you got a nigga talking about like uh um, you know, like, um, you know, if the name is not important or how long we've been calling on the names of Yahweh Well, what about Noah? Yep. 120 some years. So he called on the name Yahweh for 120 some years. So how do you contest that? Mm -hmm. He knows. He knows. Wow.
Wow. Yeah, Genesis the fourth chapter. Then men start calling on the name of Yahweh. Always had that chosen line. Still remember that name. Hebrew like bar of the past. Where's that connection, man? Yeah. But going back to um, you mentioned Noah now. Yeah. Noah's son uh Shem. You know? What that mean? That, it mean name. <laughs> it's, it was all about continuing that legacy, continuing keeping his name. Hebrew I bar. Yep. It was just in that language, yeah. you know, keeping his name, which is in that ancient language, you know, the Hebrew, which, hey, speak of, uh, you know, um, the, the, the Ark of the Covenant and, um, you know, these particular things, because you got, you know, different uh, Indiana Jones movies, where they show you, and um, is it Raiders of the Lost Ark or is it another one? They pretty much show you the name Yahweh. Yeah, it's like on the medallion, but they show you the name uh, Yahweh. So he mean so he don't know. They they know, man. But you got Israelites that don't know or claim to not know. You know, we got it. Shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So, brothers, like soak this in for a minute. Everything that we lose, we gonna get it back multiplied times a hundred. That's what, that's what it literally says when you uh invest in yep. a hundredfold. A hundred times yeah, as much. That's right. You know? That's right. Bro, that, that, that's far out. And then, you know, the Lord, he, he, he you know, just put a number on it for us, but, but really, it's going to be infinite. Man. That's, that's what that means. It's really mean, it means infinite. You know, yeah, we see a hundred times more, but, yeah. but really, you can't even fathom what the Heavenly Father is about to give us, man. Because a hundred times is infinite. You think about it. Yeah. Man, bro. Things that was gained to him, counted losses. Yeah. That's right. Hey, I was thinking about this song called, you know, the Bible. I have brought out a good point. Like, what we going through right now, this is like a communication ritual. You know, it's like a rite of passage, what we got to go through right now in order to get to something far more greater yep. than we're going through. So, therefore, all these things that we're going through right now, it has a lesson in it. Yep. So, therefore, we're going to be judged for the rest of the world. Yeah, man. And, you know, I'll praise you. How about you? I shy, brothers. This is the real family. This is your real family. Okay? This is your family. Alright, and, and, and now go ahead, bro. Now, so how should I say? This is my mother, my father, my yeah. brother. And, and you know, for, for your family member that's that's caught up in the matrix, they they in this world, well guess what? You're gonna gain them back in the kingdom. That's right. You know? Yeah. And, and and you know, they gonna thank you. That's right. For what you did here. Because if you're a part of the hundred and forty four thousand, you are actually your parents' parents. You assist in creating them. That's going out, bro. You know, and it's 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 amazing too, because the Lord used them to you know raise you, yeah. help you out on this right, side, right. but in actuality they, they came from you. They came from you. Yeah. But that, that's show you the power of the Heavenly Father, right, man. Right. You know, man, the Lord beautiful, bro. You got it. Like this first Corinthians eleven thirty one, man, bro. For if we could judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Because we don't want to get what they gonna get. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the, the, the Heavenly Father, he about to get Jake like they Gentiles. Like, they gonna die like Edomites. Yeah, picture that. Like, you know, they dying like a Greek or a Roman, man. Pagans. Pagans, yeah. The same limitation how the Lord was asking enemy. So that same type of other shot you be hearing is gonna come back again for the second time. Yeah, yeah man. So it says, uh, but when we are judged, we are chastened for the Lord going to that discipline. This humiliation ritual that we should not be condemned with the world. Yeah, and, and the thing is, everything is closing in now. So the Lord guides where your mindset is really just on the body. You know, you, you meditate on your house shy his body, and they get you out of your emotions. You worry about the outside because it's about to be so crazy out here, bro. The death gonna be everywhere. You know, people you knew, people people you don't know, but just to see. Your people getting got at like that. Yeah. But it's the Lord doing it. You know what I'm saying? But but you locked in here, so you're not messed up like that. You know? So going back to like, like you said, bro, letting go from us mortal thoughts. And this is gonna get us through this time. You know, because a, a, a main reason why Jake gonna take that damn karagma, that the question gonna pop up in their mind, well, how I'm gonna eat. Well, you, you letting go from us mortal thoughts, because we in a time the Heavenly Father gonna display massive miracles, man. 
you're going going into that abundant mindset. There, there's nothing he can't do. Look look how far he's brought us. Look at the shit he got us out of. Look at the things we hope that he gonna get us through that too. It's gonna be wild on this earth. But that you know, your how about Shima is there. There's not one thing that he doesn't control, man. Even when it, you know, it's like man, like man, you can't make this up. Well, he did that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, you, and you'll be in certain situations like, man, you, man, I hate I didn't went through, I hate I didn't did that. But then the Lord not, he, he, he looking at you. You know, the angels just looking at you. Man, you were supposed to be there. That's right. That's right. You was really supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? So we come into time where, where we're, we're, we're beginning to see his face more and more. You know? That's the whole point. Your house shines become more clear to us now. You know? Because like we... You know how you can wean a baby off a bottle? Yep. It's like the Lord that weaned us off of this westernized mindset and thinking and behaviors, man. You know, and coming to this truth, it had put us, like you said, on a whole nother level spiritually, man. That's why we're being prepped up and prepared for the days to come that's going to be, you know what I'm saying, completely evil, man. It's going to be all matters of judgment. But like I say, the people who are not weaned from the earth still depend on Egypt. They're going to go, like you would say, you know what I'm saying, destruction of those who go down to Egypt for help. Because they're going to be looking for that help, man. Because America has pacified and baby and comforted and given so much to Americans, man, that they're really just running around as children, man. They can't take care of themselves. They don't know how to function. They don't know how to live off the earth or none of that. And, then, and, and first and foremost, they don't have, you know, how about you, man, I'm shy. That's it. Children have that spiritual insight to see that bad storm come. Yeah. I say, you know, Jeremiah, they jumped about the story. They know it there more than times. It was being birds. A lot of people do not know the judgment of the Lord. Watch the Right. So they're going to get caught off guard, literally. Yeah, so you see people out here, they enjoying their life. You know, uh, every weekend you sacrifice your time and energy to your help by Shemel Shai. The rest of our people just out here enjoying their life. It's not going to stay this way. And very soon, we're going to be, in, you know, fully just. Relishing in the spirit of how Pashim Yahu shot while judgment taking place. And see, the uh the, the roles gonna re reverse, so to speak. Now they gonna be suffering. Now they gonna be in pain and you know, and you know, and, and they're gonna be in situations where they really not gonna get out of get out of it. The only way for them to get out of it is for them to go through it. You know what I'm saying? But see, we have comfort, that's the difference, you know. Go ahead, I'll. Like, oh, yeah, it's one verse. Back in uh, Matthew 19, verse 30. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Right. Now, this, this mainly goes into, uh, you know, uh, Jacob and Esau, Edom. You know, Esau, Edom, beginning with Amalek, they're first in this world, but they're going to be last in our world. You know, they're going to be at the very bottom of the barrel, man. You know? But then, you know, when you look at, um, you know, other nations, they're above us right now. And, and two-thirds of our own people, you know, Wicked Jake and Eve. You know, you got, you, got, uh, you know, women call the shots. They gonna be last, you know? And see, we don't gotta wait until the kingdom to see some of this play out. A lot of this gonna play out on this side, you know? You gonna start to see Edomites last. We, we, st we start to see more and more homeless Edomites. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or Edomites, they're, they're in low-level job positions than we would ever be in. Like, man, I know fucking work there. Right, yeah. But shit, he working there. Like, this, yo, what's going on here? Yeah, get a pizza from Domino's. Yeah, and they there. Well, oh, they 80 years old, <laughs> still working, man. But they Driving can't afford fucking issues. You know, whatever the case may be, man. Man, I saw an article earlier. Not so long ago, they said, eight-year-old woman, she retired National Bank of work at Costco. Also, like you said, it's a part about like, you know, sell out two thirds. Like, right now, you think about these Jake Bogles and different pro athletes, you know, the one that's going to make a boy with this world with Esau Edom. Like, even the kingdom, they're going to be regular citizens. Yeah. They're not going to have that type of world that we're going to have for the next game, you know? Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, the position. But we, we let it go on this side, you know, because Jake, they didn't want to let it go. They sacrificed on this side just so they could be a boy with Esau in this world. Yeah, although they're gonna be good, they're gonna have everlasting life, but it's gonna be things, yeah, limited access. So they may not have access to the chariots and things of that nature, you know. But they're still gonna be rich, well, not rich, but very wealthy, 
like LeBron James and Michael Jordan and Floyd Mayweather. We don't have access to them. And that's the key, bro. <laughs> that, at the White House, Hashem Shai, you make a mention of that. The thing is, in the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, you know, and 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 the men that's gonna be joint heirs with them in in that world, you elect brothers. You're not gonna be e easily accessible. Right. People ain't just gonna be able to just find yeah. you like that, man. And and the thing is, you're gonna be close to your how was shy. Everyone that's gonna have that privilege, man. That's right. To be that close to the Lord, you gonna have to know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, know somebody. Cause that's how I operate somebody. in this world. That's it. You can't get that close to these people. That's right. And, but this, this is on a very low level. Right. But how much more than that? Once once again, what we don't see is greater than what we do see. You know, so, you know, like you said, you know, Israelites, you know, they're going to be wealthy. They're yeah. they going to have everything. Good, they, yeah, they're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have, you know, eternal life. You know, they're going to have a glow. That's right. But see, but you elect, man, y'all y'all going to be on a certain, you're going to be on a, a galactic level. That's it. You know, you're going to be able to do different things they can't do, man. That's right. You know, I mean, not to say they can't ride in the chariot. Right. But maybe they can't pilot that boy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, right. maybe only you can fly. You know right. what I'm saying? I right. mean, we'll find everything in yeah, detail exactly. once we get there. That's it. You know? But I mean, you're going to have access to particular things they're not going to have access yeah. to. We're going to have full access if we're part of the 144,000. Like, look, we got vehicles, we have cars, but we ain't rolling around no Bentleys, no Maseratis, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. No Gaudis and shit. We can't just up and travel and go to other countries right. like that. Right. It, it, Jay Z and Floyd. They can just leave now right. and just go somewhere. That's right. You know, no, no questions asked. Like you got these different um, A-list celebrities and athletes. They could pack a bag that day right. and and dip. Or you don't know? even pack a bag. Or don't even pack a bag. Just get the shit when they get there. And just get it when they get there. <laughs> and I like that better. They, they can do that. Yeah. They can just do that, bro. Yeah, some rappers boast about they want to have lunch in another country. Yeah. They can be able to go and have dinner in another country. Yeah. Yeah. And they really doing this yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. But how, but how much more y'all? Right. Hey, you got that nigga, uh, God damn it, this nigga here, Drake. You know, God, I, I want to say he went to Vegas, he had lost so much money gambling, but it didn't really, it didn't affect him though. That's right. That's right. It, it didn't affect that dude, you know? But how much more you elect with the Lord going to give y'all, man? Because see, what you coming into, it, bro, you, you never going to have losses, you know? You never going to have losses, bro. And the Lord, he's showing us too, what he's doing with us, we're, we're investing in ourselves. By you investing this truth, which is in you, like you said, the kingdom of heaven is within us now. Yeah. Because it's, you know, because um, the Lord gave us this knowledge, this truth. So you investing in you, you investing in yourself. So the Lord, he's showing us, basically, he's going to give us quality. That's it. You know? If I can just add how you know also that we're not really just, you know, reaching when you go into Revelation, the seventh chapter, it tells you 12,000 out of each tribe. Yeah. Then it goes into the one third. Yeah. So it's levels to it. Yep. Yeah. 12,000 out of each tribe represent the 144,000. That's it. Those are true aristocrats. That's it. Once you go to more aristocrats, it goes to the best world. Right. So you're not going to have easy access to the best world. That's it. So when you think about the 144,000, are your true alpha males beginning with your house, whoever they may be? Because alpha means what first? Leader. I've been seeing number three a lot too. Number three uh, represent understanding, yeah. which, um, you know, it could be associated uh, with the Holy Spirit, you know? But basically, um, you know, when, when, when the Lord had us in the beginning, Lord, when we were part of that number, man, you gotta think, y'all were the men that made that agreement with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the in the beginning. That's it. But before all this, and, and and this is the men he's bringing into this thing now. Yeah. See this, see this his body coming back together. That's it. You know, yeah. and it's showing you too this power, this that temple being built, man. You know, this, this is that temple that's being formed. So, you know, once again abundance you know and an abundant mindset we got to think about what the lord is bringing us into man like the apostles had said a while back like the elder apostle said this thing is far bigger than what we think man you know even when we see different brothers man you know we'll, we'll fellowship and you know we'll, we'll break bread it's far bigger than what we think because yeah how was shy is there man you know even you know we must you know 
brothers really is, is, is business. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, we'll, you know, we'll, you know, laugh and joke and you know what I'm saying, do particular things, but more so it, this this thing is business because he's here. He's in the body. You know? And and Lord willing soon we hope to have a seat at his table. You know what I'm saying? And, and we're gonna get out of close scriptures. Get that Romans 832, he won't get to. Got I got the last verse for you on uh, Matthew 6. Yeah, we finish it out. We need to get Romans. I start back at 33 and read on the, okay. the, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, starting verse 33. Can't let that one go, Ken. Can't let it go, bro. That's too nice. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, man. You know? So we, we had to uh, unplug from this world, you know. I think you had said it, bro. You know, and, and you know, certain other brothers said sometime. You know, we gotta, we gotta uh, lose it all to gain it all. You know, and that's really the way it gotta be. You know, I mean, now don't get it wrong. The Lord does give brothers particular blessings. You know, and brothers do have particular things. But guess what? The the bigger blessings is, is to come. You know, and let's say you have, you know, you have a, a wife now. That's that's one of your wives. And then she got to be on board with, you know, with these these other women, you know, which, you know, the Lord gonna have all that worked out, you know, in, in due time, you know, because we come into, new body too. yeah, yeah, she gonna be a new body, like, they gonna get it, gonna you know what I'm saying, it. so it, it, it ain't no big thing, you, even be bed. you know, but just showing you, bro, cause, and I, I got this saying, you know, from the Hopeful Lake family, you know, the reward brother's gonna get is gonna be massive, man. It's, it's gonna be massive, really. Words, you know, the only words they can do is just what the scriptures got to say. You know, you seek it first the kingdom, you seeking this truth because it begins with an idea, and then everything gonna be added. And that's all you're gonna do throughout eternity, just just add onto what the Lord gave you. Because it tells you in um in uh, the book of Malachi, they're speaking about the, the uh, priests, pretty much like you know. Not doing their they part as far as uh, bringing all the types into the storehouse. But the Lord said, basically, you get a Lord his. If he will not pour you out a blessing from heaven, then there should not be enough room to receive it. So basically, in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord going to give us so many blessings. It's not going to be enough room to put everything else. Like, you know, like he going to rain on you, man. Because it tells you in the book of the prophet Isaiah, before they call, he going to answer. Right. So before you even think about praying to your house, I was shy. It's like, like, damn, it's already ready. It's all like, it's done already. And this is what we speak about. We speak about an abundant mindset. Basically, it this all ties into our connection to you. How about Shemal Shah, man? That at the end of the day, he gonna come through, bro. That's this lesson about, you know? That's what, because that's what Jake tell you in so-called Red Pill Society. You know what I'm saying? Basically, uh, when it comes to the girl, she ain't do all right, just, hey, leave her have that abundant uh, mentality abundant and that's the same thing much much more important when it comes to the kingdom of heaven whatever we got on this side hey, be willing to lose and be like fuck it because at the end of the day we know that the spirit the words of Yahweh Hashem Hashem puts everything into words what we about to receive yep yeah it's Period. like you know the brother had read in the uh, Psalms we're gonna be like a tree planted by the rivers of water yeah. talking about just continual flowing streams just just wealth it's just flowing like the, 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 and, and and tells you in the book of the prophet Isaiah, the the uh, those different riches gonna be flowing from the other nations. It's gonna be trains, you know, of wealth just coming through the gates of Jerusalem, man. So the gates will not even close. They will not. They won't even be closed. Except for the Shabbat. Yeah. You talking about heathens working overtime and <laughs> hey, not getting paid? Guess what the car said? The brother prophesied. Look it. Look it. Oh wow. Look it. <laughs> yeah, Look it. I see, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Hey, all praise you. How about you? All praise you. How about you? Look at you, man. Woo. It's like Ezra's 2 and 24. Wow. Abide still, oh, oh my people, and take thy risk for thy quietness. Well, it's abide still, so it means stay in the truth. That's it. Just stay here. And just, just, just hold on, and you're you going to see the Lord work. Let no man take your crown. Let no man take your crown. You know? Because we don't want to be replaced, bro. That, that's just like the most this is one of the most that it is this is the worst horrible and it's, it's scary feeling ever that's right you know what i'm saying going back to that vision the brother had the jersey 
Jesus said, the angel had told him, hey, we know what you all going through right now you know, in the spiritual realm, but hold on. He just kept telling him that he had a dream, he had a vision. Hold and the reason on. why he's saying it, because it's close. Yeah. It's super close. That's right. We hit the door. That's right. So abide still for my people and take that risk for that quietness still comes. So they say, like it tells you, in, um, showing you this part of uh, the Bible, like it tells us in Thess Thessalonians, ye who are troubled, rest with us. Mm -hmm. So we rest in these scriptures. This is where the comfort at. So you you comfort it here, and then just wait, and we gonna see the Lord do His thing. Okay. This morning, okay. Verse twenty five. Nourish thy children, O thou good nurse. Establish their feet. They the, the little ones. You know those coming to this truth, mm -hmm. because brothers are teaching this truth. You really spoiled your parents. That's right. You know because each member of the elect has a certain following, and they depend on you. Mm -hmm. You know to to continue to you know feed them. Your feet goes into spiritual instructions. Yep. You know, the spirit been hit on the apostle to Mari and Lamar. Like when uh, they you know, break down, they always talk about going back to uh, basics. Basics. Yeah. But they say you have new followers coming in every wow. day. So it says, as for the servants whom I have given oh, these. Oh, yeah, that's a good point because babies can't eat solid food. That's right. You know, they need milk. Yeah. You know? Sure. So, so, yeah, just keep keeping it simple, man. Water, bro. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there should not one of them perish, for I will require them for the blood thou know. And that's our only hope. And that's why we do what we do. Because the only way we're getting up out of here is if we're part of your land. And to quote Elder Big Gad, man, you know, like he be saying, man, even if we the last man that make it, bro. You know? Now we do have, you know, you know, rank and file, you know, for order's sake, you know. But at the end of the day, we work for the same penny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you ain't working to lord over brothers. We working so we can be in the kingdom, man. Same the same destination. I hate to quote this nigga, man, but it was a good line though. We walk the same path, but got on different shoes. You know? You know, cause we all in that straight game. Who said that? It was Drake. Okay. And he threw, you know. But it's a good line though. You know? Good line. Yeah. Walk with the same path, but got on different yeah. shoes, you know? So we we all it's all roads leading to the kingdom for the elect. That's it. Even though we got different life experiences, you all a part of his body. That's it. You know, this is his body. That's it. You know, you got it, bro. Slap. Here's the point. Verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaven is coming, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Because they get judged. <laughs> and that's abundance during Jacob's trouble. So not only will you have abundance in the kingdom of heaven, because y'all gonna have it, man. You, you will let God gonna have it, you know, in the kingdom of our father, you know, but you're gonna have it here too You know when, when, when Jacob's trouble comes when all these people are getting taken by the chaos You're gonna witness miracles. You're gonna be a part. You're gonna be Like living witnesses of the miracles of Yahweh Shai I will get them fame and the land and put the shame. That's they right. gotta be fulfilled too That's how we gonna get it because who are these men that, that the Lord did all this for? You know, that's the Lord lifting you up in the land of our enemies, man. Before we get up out of here, because so so that, that it stands to reason, spiritual power gonna come before we get up out of here. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know, a lot of brothers, you know, um, may uh, you know, speculate concerning that. You know, we believe that we are gonna get that power. Lord will be part of that number. We are gonna get that power before we get up out of here, because we gonna need it too. We gonna need it, brothers. During the time of Jacob's trouble, and I, I'm gonna say it, just be honest. I believe we're gonna get that power. If we stay doing this, I believe we're gonna get it, man. Because all the signs and evidence of it is written. written, you know. So in abundance mindset, think about that. Think about that power, and that's why we hope to stay here in this truth. Because you know, if a man leads this truth, he ain't gonna get the power, you know. But you stay here, man. Hey, just just watch and see. Go ahead, I. Back in uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for, to, for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Because each day is a spirit. Each day is already written in the spirit world. So, um. And worrying is also feminine behavior, too. Kind. Just to answer your point. But now, it, it is. It is. I read in the NLT. Matthew 6, verse 34 in the NLT. So don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will bring its own words. Today's trouble is enough for today. Yep. And th and that can drive you mad, bro. Mm -hmm. And and not one day is the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. just just focusing on what you can focus on now. Because right. ain't no telling what tomorrow gonna be like. It, right. 
you gotta wait for that challenge. You get through this challenge, and then okay, when he bring you into the tomorrow, you deal with that challenge accordingly, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But like brother said, worrying is feminine behavior and it, it don't get you nowhere. And then the, the Lord, like pretty much, you're not using me right now. And, it, and it, that's what's gonna get us through this time. Using your house shot. Mm -hmm. You know, quote the IKM in Texas. You know, apply your house shot. You know, like like look, I'm I'm right here. A apply me in this situation. And and that's gonna get us out of it, man. Lord said, place your burdens upon me. Yep. So. Cause we all got different things that bother us, you know, get trouble us at right. time, but at the end of the day, you know, complaining about it, worrying about it ain't gonna do shit. Mm -hmm. You know? It stress you up. It just, yeah, it's just gonna, you know, mess with your mind. Mm -hmm. And we need our minds. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, mental health, speaking about you know spiritual abundance well mental health goes into that too keeping our mental health on point man see what's saying to do here utilize those thoughts to take you away from the truth yep now you're not productive in the truth because you worry about the other shit right yeah. turning you against you that's it because you're your biggest opponent yep man. yeah so he want to use us against us because you know what we're noticing the biggest thing to be honest you know, I'll speak as a man, but correct me from wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, we correct each other. The biggest thing that we're noticing that we got to conquer in this truth, to be honest, bro, is our minds. We got to conquer our minds, bro. What's that, one for four? Or 11 for four? Well, you know, one for four. You know? Well, I'm going to say you look like somebody dead. Oh, me? <laughs> I was some, yeah, talking about me, man. <laughs> oh, Jake, man. <laughs> You know the comment board? Yeah. Oh, just three Oh, wow. You know, Jake, man. Uh, hey, go ahead, bro. I guess Romans 8, <laughs> start verse 31. I thought you got me for a minute. Yeah. I got the lost these shirt. Yeah, always you know, Romans 8, 31. What should we then say to these things? And how about Hashem, y'all shot me for us? Who can be against us? Because he's on your side. Like, like, like that sign say, look it. Look it. Look it. He, he's on your side. We in a time, bro. He on your side as opposed to everybody else on the earth. Lost Ark, man, you can't make it up. Oh, uh, crazy how about Shemel Shah, man. You got to talk about the Ark. You know? We got our connection with our God back. Because what was the Ark of the Covenant used for? It was our connection to you. How about Shemel Shah? That, that light's place say Lost Ark. That's right. It's we looking at it. Anymore, yeah. yeah, but the, the Ark ain't lost no more. Because yeah. the Ark represented you how shot. Going back to the name. So that show we got we got his name now. Right? Right. You know? All you idiots out there. To have the connection to Yahweh, we need Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? All them different utensils, all those tools in the ark, were, were all a representation of Yahweh Shai. Even, even the ark itself represented Yahweh Shai, which is in the shape of a coffin. You know? It, it You know, you look at an ark, because like I said, Egyptians pretty much, when they act like they came up with that concept, yeah, I didn't come up with the concept of the ark. The Lord already had that mapped out, you know? But you think about a, a coffin, what you think about the body of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. So the ark represented him. Mm -hmm. Now we have Yahweh Shah back. Go ahead, bro. Verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How should he not with him also freely give us all these? Wait a minute. So Yahweh himself, the Heavenly Father himself, gave the greatest uh, offering that he could ever give to his people. Was the sacrifice of his own son because he didn't have to, like if he wanted to he, like, he didn't have to do that you know but he did it because that was the only way we could be accepted back you know that was the, the greatest gift he could give to his people to his nation of people which are the israelites so he didn't hold back his own son for us to to bring us back to him go ahead bro okay. it says who should lay anything? What's that? Can we talk, can read the last part again? Okay. How should he not? So it says, uh, how should he not with him also freely give us all of these? Right. So he sent his only begotten son, Yahweh shot down here just to bring us back to him. But with this same being, with, with his same heavenly son, he's going to freely give us everything. And we come coming to a time, money ain't going to be nothing. You ain't gonna have to spend shit. You know, we come into a time of being a king and a priest. Mm -hmm. A priest didn't have to spend, he didn't come out of pocket. Pretty much the, the nation took care of the priests. That's, That's why like, that was the office to be desired. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Isaiah 60 chapter, tributaries. Yep. 
That's King, Kings of Priests. Yep. We're going to be taken care of. We're going to be taken care of, man. Hey, the Lord said, is in Isaiah chapter, is it 66? 6? But the Lord said, as one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you. The J love their mama, don't it? You know? Yeah. But say, you should be comforted in Jerusalem, man. So the Lord, he going to spoil his elect, man. He look at his his elect, especially his elect men. He look at his elect men as very special, man. You know? So, hey, the, the Lord, he, he going to fully take care of brothers, man. You know? You got it out. So what's on that? Be kind. Well, yeah, man. You know, with that, we pray and hope y'all will edify, man. You know, Lord Willa, you know? You're speaking about an abundant mindset, man. Just being rich in the spirit. You know, Yahweh yeah, Shemel Shah is going to give us every needful thing in due season. Okay? And the hope is that he's going to get us through these times, man. Because the main thing is us finishing what we started. Finishing our course. You know? Finishing this tower, which, which is ourselves. You know? So, you know, hey, with, with that, Lord willing, y'all will edify. We want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Kapodash, Double Honor, to Elder Apostles, and Elder Bishops, Great Millstone. We still well. Peace and best of the house of David the elect. Shalom. Shalom.